what's next in technology. Uh, the, the most near-term uh, impact from a technology standpoint is autonomous cars, like fully self-driving cars. Um, like I said, that's going to be that's going to happen much faster than people realize. It's going to be a great convenience to be an autonomous car, but there are many people whose jobs it is to drive. Uh, in fact, I think it might be the single largest employer uh, of people is dri driving uh, in various forms. And so then we need to figure out new roles for, for what, what, you know, what do those people do. Um, but, it be, but it will be very disruptive and very quick. Now, and I should characterize what I mean by, by, by quick. Uh, quick means different things to different people. There are over two billion vehicles in the world. Approaching, in fact, approaching two and a half billion uh, cars and trucks in, in the world. Uh, the total new vehicle production capacity is about a hundred million, um, which, which makes sense because the life of a car or truck before it's finally scrapped is about 20, 25 years. So the point at which we see full autonomy appear will not be the point at which there is massive societal upheaval because it will take a long time to make enough autonomous vehicles to, uh, be, to disrupt employment. So that, that disruption I'm talking about will take place over about 20 years. But still 20 years is a short period of time to have, I think, something like 12 to 15% of the workforce be unemployed.